Well, welcome to Harlem Holistic Wellness Week. I am happy to be here doing a vendor spotlight with the co-founders of Black Wellness Initiative with Bailey Jeremy, family therapist and podcaster, and Stephanie Moore, self-care blogger. Um, ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. I'm really excited <laughs> to learn more and hear more about Black Wellness Initiative. So a little bit about how you guys met, what was the inspiration, how did Black Wellness Initiatives come about, and more importantly, what is it? Well, I always say, I know Harlem's not that small, but I feel like I see the same faces over and over again. <laughs> and so her face was just the face that I, I saw a lot of. Um, and so um, eventually, you know, we started to share information around um, our passions and our interests. And um, there were a lot of intersections, so many intersections that we started a business. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about your work, Bailey, and what makes you so passionate about wellness. So I am a family therapist, um, and I have many passions um, that intersect with uh, being a family therapist. I um, really focus on mental health. Um, and that's a really big aspect. And then also just social justice um, mm -hmm. In general, um, there are many aspects um, about Black people, Black culture um, that need um, some type of improvement or attention when it comes to um, just social justice and wellness. Um, and we're seeing that right now with COVID, you know, COVID, regardless of how you feel about it, um, I feel like pandemics definitely expose uh, vulnerabilities in any community um, and the, the vulnerabilities in our community are more than clear. So. Yeah, and I, I, I couldn't agree more. And I know you were a guest on my show a couple of months ago before we even knew what COVID was. And we were, ta we were talking about Black Wellness Initiative and you were saying how the inequities and this has really shined a huge light um, and exposing the weaknesses and the cracks and the inequities in the system. So no better time than now, perfect timing in your launching a Black Wellness Initiative. And Stephanie, um, tell us, uh, share why you're so passionate about wellness and, and how, how all this works for you. And then I want to hear how this idea germinated and came into being. Well, I, I wear a few hats. I'm a mother of two teens, a single mom of two teens. And, um, you know, I'm a daughter and a sister as well. And, you know, I feel like we have a lot of generational things that have been passed down, you know, that um, we could probably have prevented, like um, hypertension, you know, maybe depression, um, anxiety, and I was never really taught how to deal with it. So when I have a 16 year, well now 17 year old daughter, um, I don't want her to repeat the same mistakes and I want her to be more educated on how she takes care of herself. And, you know, I have an 18 year old son as well. I care about him too, but women in general carry a lot of a burden. So for me, I feel like it's my duty to educate her and him better. And also be an example for my mom and my sister too. You know, we can all learn from each other. There's things that we don't have to deal with. Um, there's information that is out there that we're not privy to. And sometimes it's almost like a luxury, you know, to have certain access to um, techniques or wellness retreats or just different herbs and teas and things that we could use. We just don't know about it. It's a lot more than therapy. You know, I went through therapy, but I didn't do a lot of these other things until I reached over 40. So I think I'm really passionate about teaching my kids from a young age and set an example for them. So that, that's really, really passionate. And she speaks to one of the intersections that I thought um, was perfect for um, starting a business because I'm on the other side as 
a provider of mental health and therapy. And I was just like, I'm doing some good work here, but it's just not fair that only a few families get to experience this. <laughs> like, you know, and I mean, that was what motivated me to start the podcast. Um, but I started thinking, what are other ways to communicate wellness, to expand wellness, um, to help um, our people in our community, like embrace wellness. And I was like, you know, like actually just giving them products or giving them techniques, um, sending them to them could be another way outside of like the radio or the podcast or um, even public speaking events. And, um, you know, I'm not really trying to brag, but I really, um, when I say like, you know, I need more people to get it, but on average, um, like the, the modality that I work in, um, you can only really help about 10 families a year. And I was like, it's good work. It's definitely changing people's lives, but I need to do more. Like more needs to happen. More change needs to happen when you start looking at um, the disparity, disparities in our community, you know, mm -hmm. so. Um, well, the scale of it is so great right now that we need as, you know, as much help. And I think, you know, what's happening here in Harlem and the, you know, the greater community is there's so many people like yourselves that are passionate about wellness and about sharing it. And I think that's the, the thing about wellness is you can be a practitioner of, of it yourself and, and practice on yourself. But then there's so many people who are passionate about wanting to connect communicate that to other people so tell us um in a word what black wellness initiatives mission or goal is in one word or five words uh, <laughs> as many as you want. <laughs> well, Stephanie. well we we said empowerment that's the word that kept coming up right mm -hmm. you know we're empowering our community to embrace a lifestyle of wellness yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And actually yeah. like know what it is, you know, um, there's so many times where like right now, um, this is not one of our products, but an, a great example is elderberry, right? You don't start hearing about these things until I don't know, like, <laughs> like, it, you know, I'm in my thirties, like, and I'm like, why don't I know about these things beforehand? You know, like why, why now do, do these type of things come to me, even meditation or mindfulness? Like if I didn't, you know, pay a house to go to school, <laughs> when would I have known about mindfulness or meditation, you know? Um, and I, I, we want that information to get to the community faster. So what are some of the ways, the products or services that you're, um, creating through Black Wellness Initiative, how, how will you connect with and share with the community? I think we started our products um, with a meditation or mindfulness technique that um, I had in mind, or we both kind of had in mind, which is engaging all five senses. And so we wanted to create a box that allowed people to really engage all five senses and really achieve self-care. Um, and so that's kind of what we started off with. And um, we incorporated a lot of different things that um, encompass mind, body, and soul. Um, so we have crystals for spiritual people. Um, we we oh. have... <laughs> <laughs> I got my crystals. <laughs> yes, we have the crystals for spiritual people, we have um, the teas for, you know, people who may have not dug deep and they just want to like have the different teas. Um, and we, we have a variety of different teas um, from a, um, a black uh, tea brand called Modestine Teas um, that we're really happy to collaborate with. Um, and um, we have like the vehicles to utilize these things so we're not just giving people teas or giving people the crystals we're really telling you the benefits of them in our magazine um, and there are a few other items um that we're working on and stephanie's working really hard on those <laughs> 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 you, you 
want to share with just like the the what we have in this particular box that you're working on? Um, well, we have a bath bomb uh, that has Himalayan uh, pink Himalayan salt and shea butter and uh, roses, rose petals, and that's been a labor of love, but we're really proud of it. <laughs> um, I mean, baths are amazing. You know, that's just some, something simple that you can do that can de-stress you. And using something as simple as petals in the water and aromatherapy is definitely, it can, can really set my mood for the day. So um, that's something that we are really proud of. I mean, I'm really proud of the, the essential oils too with the uh, diffuser. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's um, all good stuff. That's just amazing. It's just, you know, and Bailey gave me a diffuser for my birthday. And every time I look at it, I think about her and it's running right now in the back. <laughs> you know, it's just a great vehicle. So mm -hmm. if someone isn't doing that, they, they should be doing that on a daily basis. Yeah, that's, you know, and I, I think, uh, and you mentioned that there's a magazine. And so I want to hear about that. But I think this communication of all the different ways you can employ self-care is so important. And I can say, I, I applaud you for what you're doing because I know I do it for myself and I do it for my family in terms of bringing in things like essential oils and diffusers and crystals and all the things that go along with that. Um, and it's a bit of a foreign lifestyle for many people because they've been conditioned and programmed and used to doing so many different things. So what are some of the challenges that you see with people being able to adopt and embrace um, new ways of, of taking care of themselves? What do you think is that critical factor? I think the big, and this is probably from a social justice uh, perspective, but I really think it's access. Um, because even if you hear about meditation one time, like, you're probably more willing to embrace meditation after you heard about it a few more times. Um, but depending on where you are or what um, industry you work in, like maybe that's just not something you're talking about. You know, um, for me in my former life, I was a Starbucks barista. <laughs> and so when I was working in Starbucks, no one was talking about mindfulness or meditation. But, you know, I was stressed, the hours were tough, the customers were rude, <laughs> like, and I didn't really, I mean, I was in um, college at that time, so I knew about some concepts, um, but, like, the access was a really big thing, you know, and then making $11 an hour and a massage is 49, but, like, those are some difficult, and that's, that's the massage, Emmy massage, not... <laughs> Not the right. social four seasons massage. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, I think access is a really big barrier um, for a lot of people. And so uh, that's something that we even had to think really hard about. Like just um, what is our starting price? Um, how much can we jam into this box uh, to make sure that every person has an opportunity to get the box? Um, and if they want to gift the box, you know, it doesn't cost them, you know, I don't know, some brand name purse. Like it's, you know, it's something that they can continue to get over and over again. Um, and not only the price point, mm -hmm. but also the longevity. So um, a lot of subscription boxes will uh, offer the monthly subscription. Um, but we thought maybe we should put in items that can last for several months. Um, and so that you only have to buy this box every four months or every three months, sorry. Um, and, and if you choose to buy one box, that box will last you for a while. It'll mm -hmm. benefit you for a mm -hmm. while. And that, that's the biggest thing, making sure that that access is there. So do you have the box? Can you show us the box? You have one? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> oh, we have to do the don't rush challenge. Hold on here. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're really excited about the box. Yeah. So the box so has tell us the name. It's called the box um, is um, holistic wellness box, um, and it's by Black Wellness Initiative. And so Black Wellness Initiative actually has like various 
aspects of uh, wellness that we're incorporating. Um, one of them is the box. Another is a directory. Um, and then, of course, we have um, a good, a pretty decent social media presence right now. Um, and we are starting to do lives and like virtual meetings, basically just to, um, like we said, expand and eliminate those barriers of access. And building a community where you feel safe to yeah. speak about it, to ask questions, because what I think is a lot of times there's guilt or shame around wellness, as funny as that sounds. You know, it, it could be something as simple as breastfeeding. You know, the mom that is breastfeeding, there's a lot with that. There's a mom, the, the mom who could not breastfeed might feel guilty, you know. Um, and a lot of times we just don't have education around mm -hmm. it. We don't have the knowledge, you know. Even mental health, you know. There's a big stigma with mental health. And yeah. so, um, I mean, I just, like, even when I'm in the house teaching a family, sometimes you'll see the parent be like, oh, you want to take a deep breath? And I'm like, wait, no, 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 <laughs> Like, don't, like, this is probably the only thing they have, you know, between not snapping and snapping. Like, <laughs> let them embrace that, you know? But um, some of the things are just so taboo. Um, and I think it's, it has historical factors, you know, like, um, I think that a lot of it has to do with what does this look like if you accept the label of I have a mental health diagnosis or I'm stressed or I'm overwhelmed, you know, as a single parent, if you say you're overwhelmed, that could lead to a whole ACS case, you know? So, I mean, it's just certain things that I think um, can uh, definitely push back and we're really trying to make sure that like uh, Stephanie said, we're creating those safe spaces. Um, yeah. and one thing I want to add while it's on my mind before I forget. Um, right now, what we're doing is creating um, care packages for people who are experiencing um, COVID symptoms or um, just having weakened immune systems. Um, and that is something that we're um, pairing the proceeds from um, the, the Black Wellness Initiative uh, Holistic Wellness Box right now. Um, that wasn't the initial plan, but we have to meet the needs of the community. And so um, that's also an option. If people uh, purchase the box or purchase multiple boxes, the proceeds right now will be going directly to our COVID care packages. Great. I, I think that's so important. And tell us about the magazine. Um, oof, that magazine. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> we have to tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. <laughs> um, but it, it's, um, the magazine is um, almost like a, I would say like a, a manual um, to all of the, the items in the box. And then we also provide like different um, activities that people can do um, that, you may not think about, you know, like uh, adult coloring or puzzles and these type of things, or even just journaling. And so we have various activities throughout the box, uh, as well as um, just information about us, the founders, um, the brands that have partnered with us. And mm -hmm. um, we're just super excited about um, and where, you know, people, how people can continue to communicate with us um, in our uh, community, in our different spaces. Mm -hmm. So important. And I'm really excited to hear more, see more about the box. I know you're planning on launching this quarterly, which I think is a great business decision. Um, and, you know, give people time to engage with it. I love the fact that it is a multi-century experience and engagement, which is so important because, you know, not everyone engages in the same way. So this gives, there's something for everybody, it sounds like, in this box, which is so important in how you connect. So... I'm very excited for both of you and for everyone that's going to benefit from everything that you're doing. So how do people find out more about Black Wellness Initiative? How do they order the box? Where can they see your lives? Give us that information. So um, we, you can uh, find the box at blackwellnessinitiative.com. 
um, and we are actually taking orders right now. Um, the box will um, officially will start sending them out this weekend. Um, and so, you know, just go and check it out. 425 is live. Um, and um, you can follow us at um, on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, um, tw Twitter at Black Wellness Initiative. <laughs> okay. Um, and right now, um, we have one live that um, we're utilizing. It's Mondays at 6. Um, and that link will be, it can be found in um, the Black Wellness Initiative Instagram page um, in the bio. Um, so yeah, check us out. Um, the the, the um, Zoom or the live that we're doing right now um, is really just helping people, helping people uh, utilize techniques and spreading awareness. Um, I mean, if you look at the awareness calendar, there's there's an awareness week, awareness day, every single uh, day of the year, pretty much. Um, like this week is actually uh, infertility um, awareness week. And last week was black maternity um, awareness week. So we just celebrate all these different aspects of wellness and health um, mm -hmm. on our Instagram and on our uh, social media uh, platforms and our website. That is so great. I'm so excited. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that. For anybody tuning in and watching this, please check out blackwellnessinitiative.com and check out that box and tune in. Uh, you can find you guys. Are you on Facebook? Yes, Facebook, yeah. Instagram, and Twitter. Twitter. Okay. Pinterest. And the website. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And individually, you're both, uh, you're a self-care blogger, Stephanie, as well. Yes. And um, yeah, my page is Say Yes More. It's say like, Yes More. I love it. Like my last name, M-O-O-R-E. And uh, I'm on Pinterest and Instagram as well. Great. So people and, can follow you there as well. Yeah. And yes. Bailey, I know you have a podcast, Mind Over Melanin. I do. And the podcast airs every Wednesday um, at, I'm giving it 12 o'clock during quarantine. <laughs> it used to be 7 a.m. But every Wednesday, um, you can check out uh, Mind Over Melanin pod on Instagram, or you can go straight to mindovermelanin.com. And the Mind Over Melanin podcast airs on all um, podcast platform. And all your prior shows are also uh, stored there so they can check out past. Yep, you can check all. And I, I also do a, a little, uh, what do you call it, Flashback Friday for all the episodes that I, oh, I really love. So, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. I definitely like that. Okay, ladies, thank you so much. The best of luck with Black Wellness Initiative. Thank you for bringing this to Harlem Holistic Wellness Week. And I'm excited yeah. for everyone to engage. Thanks Thank so much. You. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.